Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman and Chairman Jordan, Ranking Member Nadler. Thank you both for your work on crafting this bipartisan uh, legislation that brings much needed reforms to protect the American people from unlawful surveillance by their government while safeguarding our national security. Uh, I'd like to focus for a moment on the FBI's conduct of U.S. person queries. Um, despite claims of reform, reports have shown uh, that the FBI consistently conducts hundreds of U.S. persons queries a day. Uh, Chairman Jordan, can you elaborate for us once more on how the FBI has abused its ability to conduct queries into U.S. persons and how provisions in the, the bill before us today will put the brakes on future abuses? 278,000 times it didn't follow their rules. They uh, queried in a, in a fashion not consistent with their rules. Um, Congressman, United States Senator, 19,000 donors. Maybe more importantly, though, is what they've done to protesters in the summer of 2020 who were part of the Black Lives Matter movement. Those kind of things, we know, they've told us themselves. I mean, and, and when you couple it with the number of people, we had this discussion a little earlier with, I think, Congressman Massey, the number of targets and then the number of queries on U.S. persons, 3 million, 3.3 million back in 2021. And then you think about the, the number of times they didn't follow the rules when they did those 3.3 million. Um, that's what's alarming. And so to the, to the point the ranking member was just making, do we want to expand the authority or do we want to actually put in place things that respect the checks and balances that we have in our system? I think, I think we want to go that way, not, not the expansion route. Okay, uh, Ranking Member Nadler, anything you'd like to add in the same? I agree with everything Jim just said. Well, thank you. Just to open it up one more time, Chairman Jordan or Ranking Member Nadler, either of you have anything additional you'd like to add on what's been discussed here today? I think this may be the, the you may be the last one, uh, Congressman. I, I just again want to want to thank uh, Ranking Member Nadler and his staff and 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 the, the members, all the members on the committee for the work they've done. And frankly, Congressman Davidson, who's not a member of the committee, who has who pushed along with Congresswoman Jayapal, who's, who's the Judiciary Committee member, pushed this, uh, this great idea on the, uh, the Fourth Amendment's not for sale, because that fits in with this fundamental warrant requirement that is just a hallmark of our system. Uh, it's why I think those two amendments are so darn important. Thank you very much, Jim. Thank you very much. I, I just feel like something remarkable has happened in this room when you've got <laughs> Jim Jordan and Jerry Nadler agreeing like this you know, in, a, in a place today is kind of refreshing uh, uh, in this era of our Congress. So thank you both for bringing uh, what is clearly legislation that moves us in the right direction, a reauthorization that doesn't ignore the serious Fourth Amendment concerns that the American people have when it comes to FISA. And I look forward to its consideration on the floor, and I yield back, Mr. Chairman.